Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. So it's evening here in Switzerland and I had a very long day. I was starting actually to move my stuff from this apartment to the new apartment where I'm going to be in about two weeks. And so my office basically it's gone. Uh, well, it's not really an office, it's just a table and the display and my laptop. They're all gone now, they're all in the new apartment, but I'm not yet living there. I just have my laptop here with me and I'm filming this video with my webcam and the microphone, which are still here. Um, and this is not gonna be a tutorial video. I want to share with you guys something that many of you also ask me in the comments or I also received a lot of emails about, and that's about working, finding a job in, uh, you know, with Linux. And let me point out here a couple of things. So my Linux journey started actually two years ago. Um, although I actually met Linux about 30 years ago, uh, that was the first time, but I didn't have enough time to invest in those days because I was still a professional musician. Um, and although I loved uh, always computers and technology and IT, specifically also Linux, I didn't really have the time to go more in depth about that. But I picked up Linux again uh, two years ago um, after a rough period and um, I started to actually rediscover basically my passion for Linux. And that's why I decided one day to open the channel because I wanted to share this passion I have for Linux with you guys and especially about Arch. Now, let me point this out. Arch is my favorite distribution, but it's not my favorite distribution because it's Arch Linux. It's my favorite distribution because it allowed me to learn about Linux the most. Now, there are other distributions like Linux from scratch or Gen2, which are going even deeper in, into the bowels of the system. But for me, Arch was the distribution which allowed me actually to really get a good grasp of the Linux operating system on a good level. Now, I don't know everything about Linux. I don't know everything about Arch. What I show you on my channel is actually what I learned and doing videos actually allow me to learn more and more. And, you know, Arch Linux is like a distribution that you can build yourself. So you're basically building your Linux operating system the way you want to with the desktop environment, the window manager, the system inside, you can choose the packages you want to install and so on. And, you know, beside the fact that that's fun and it allows you to customize the distribution the way you want to, that's one aspect. The other aspect is that it really allows you to learn more about the Linux operating system. And that was for me a big deal because then I started to feel the need to, you know, um, put this passion on paper. And that means I started to really look, hey, can I do a certification about this? Do I have possibilities to work, uh, you know, with Linux somewhere in a company? Um, and the certification was the first step and I decided I, last year was in February I did the certification with Red Hat uh, for system ad administration and I really like the certification because it's practical uh, you know they give you servers that you have to basically you have some tasks that you have to perform live on some servers and then you're going to be given points on you know how many tasks you did and how well you did them um, and the goal for that then was to, you know, I was curious to see if I could find a job also in Linux because I was already 49 last year. So, you know, in Europe, at least, this is not really the prime age to find a job. Um, but I was lucky enough to find one after many rejections, of course. Uh, that's, you know, part of life. Um, I found one actually on a web hoster here in Switzerland, one of the best web hosters we have. And it's, uh, it was a job about system administration which was perfect for me. Now, the you know experience of having the certification was great, but it's definitely not enough. So many of you ask me, do I need to have the certification to find a job? I would say 90% yes, because when you will apply for the job, people will see that you have a certification and you know they know that you have a basic grasp of the Linux operating system. However, when you will get the job, depending of course also in which company you will get the job and what their business is about, you will have also a lot of tools that you will have no knowledge about because they are not in the certification. So for example, if you're working at a web hoster like me in this case, uh, you will have to deal a lot with MySQL, with databases, you will have to deal a lot with uh, you know, hosting panels, uh, email servers, and none of these are covered in the Linux certifications like Red Hat or Elpic those are really meant to give you a basic grasp or a good grasp of the Linux operating system. So it's really just one point uh, that will allow you to make the first step. 
but what is very important is that you keep hungry and by that I mean be always open to learn when you have fun learning when you see something new that you don't know and you are fun learning that part then you are on the right track if you feel like you're learning something new because you have to and you feel uncomfortable doing that then you might have to reconsider because in this field you will always have something which comes up and it's new and you don't know you have no idea what's about you have to know how to go about it so i have some colleagues in my team where i work right now they they are they know stuff much deeper than i do uh, you know they work with uh, a lot of tools that i never used before so these are people who have 10 years experience with linux and they know linux you know upside down and other systems as well and you know i'm learning now these these tools as well so it's going to take time for me but uh, if I wouldn't have done the first step two years ago, I wouldn't be here neither. So everything has a reason. And, you know, like some famous people were saying some years ago, you can only connect the dots looking backwards. Uh, so my suggestion to you is if you love Linux and if you are thinking about working in a Linux field, definitely do a certification. This will help you out, will help you stand out because when people will look at your profile, they will see that you have a certification that means you have a basic good grasp of the Linux operating system. But most important is to be always willing to learn something new and to be excited about it. Generally be excited about it. It's nothing, you know, you cannot fake that excitement. The passion, if you have passion for Linux and to learn more about Linux and everything connected to Linux, that's the real secret. And Actually, this has always been and it will always be the focus of my channel. So on my channel here on YouTube, uh, you know, it started just to share this passion with you guys, with the audience uh, about Linux. And, um, you know, every time I read a comment or I get an email, people saying, hey, I could install Arch for the first time and I'm so happy. And thank you so much because of your videos, I could install Arch. You know, that really makes my day. There is nothing that makes me more pleasure than reading such a comments because you know you share something with people and then people you know um they can they make it and they have success with that you know it, it's really it's really nice and that really makes my day and that's exactly why i started this channel two years ago now this is never going to be probably a channel where you find entertainment or uh you know i don't like to talk too much about my personal opinion about that or about this this is not it's not what this channel is about this is really about technical things is about Linux is about learning Linux um, and that's the focus which is always going to be on now having said that um, I will move like I said before in this new apartment to in two weeks about two weeks from now and um, so in these two weeks I will not be able to shoot that much but I will try to shoot another video maybe next week for you guys I have some ideas in mind that you might like and i would like to make with you guys also a live stream in the coming weeks where we are going to do an arch installation again together i haven't done that in a long time i missed that as well i missed actually to be online with you guys live and install arch so we're gonna take maybe one one and a half hour to do an arch installation and you know if you come if you come online and you have questions just shoot them in the chat and i will try to uh, you know answers um, as many questions uh, as I can um, and I would also would like to tell you guys if you have any questions also about you know uh, not only Linux technical things about Linux um, but if you are curious about also you know tips and tricks also on on the on the certifications and you know how you can prepare yourself maybe for a job for a job interview with Linux let me know in the comments. I can make maybe some videos about that to help you out, guys. Yeah, and so this is what actually I wanted to tell you today. Uh, like I said, this is not a typical technical video that I usually do, but I thought I'd share something with you guys, which I haven't done actually in a while. I always talk about Linux and about technical things about Linux. I never talk about, you know, me and what I've done before and what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And I think it's very important that I share with you as well. And I'm looking forward to see many of you uh, in the live stream. I will announce this here on YouTube and also on Twitter very soon. It's going to be probably a weekend. Uh, I'm not sure yet uh, about the date. I'll have to look this up, but I will let you know definitely with 10 days in advance. So this is all there is to it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you very soon in the next one.